So I'm a motorcycle mechanic. Well, I'm an automotive artist, but I mostly paint motorcycles. Oh, you want a I paint in watercolors. I use this really beautiful um, hand pressed, handmade watercolour paper. I want to feel you touching me, 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 me. All the paints that I use are high pigment professional watercolour, so they last a long, long time and they're really rich and deep. And I don't do realist stuff. I, I don't like, personally, I don't like paintings that look like photographs because you may as well just have a photograph. No, Major, off. Off! <laughs> So this is how I work. I work for photos, which I Unless I'm using artistic license on a landscape or something like that. Me some, but I want more. I love the way you look at me and I want to feel you. And then at first, it always looks awful, I always think, the painting. But then it just builds up. And with watercolours... I want you to dance with I want you for my games don't leave me now, they think you're past it Play with me, play my games You've got nothing else to do A headlight So I'm going to use this sort of area here I'll do very gently in pencil first if I roughly put water there, like this, then the paint finds its own direction. But not too much direction, so dab it a bit. I don't like anything too neat. I definitely don't do photographic sort of things. I like there to be, I don't know, expression. And size, sometimes, I mean they can be that small. But most of the time I like big, I, I quite like painting sort of big, you know. And light and chrome. You 
use quite a lot of blue. If you do do too much detail, that's when it starts to look unreal because it's not what the eye sees. Teddy, come on. Teddy. See there, Teddy. Hey, Teddy. See there. So here, you wouldn't normally see blue in this. But once you do it, And as areas by lifting the needle, somebody must stay and then the picture slowly starts emerging. By lifting the needle, by lifting the needle, I'm painting on the floor. By lifting the needle. I paint mostly to commission, so I paint from your photos, or if I'm near or you're near or something like that, then I'll take the photos. And I like photos with contrast of, of light and dark and something that's sort of interesting, not just a bite, you know? And sometimes I do just bikes, sometimes I do people as well. who's an artist, said to me, she really loves my sort of, <laughs> she said steampunk, and I was going, oh, okay, um, way of painting. There's areas like this, up here, which you want to be too sort of careful about, because it, when you look at something, you see it as, the eye just doesn't see all this detail. So I'm going to do this as <coughs> mostly a black mask. I think with motorbikes as well, they move and they get dirty and they can be sort of tough. And, and I like to sort of express that with with overspilling of paints or splashing of paints or things like that. Um, what else should I say that's really sensible?
like by lifting the needle.